Yeah, 25 buildings there's meant to be. I know, that's Or there crazy. was. Um, and enough to, there was 45 people, doesn't, workers. Doesn't seem like a big enough area to hold that. Ooh, what's this? I don't know. This is the only entrance, that's the garage door. Oh, this is spider's web. I want to go near there. Okay. And then this one. Is that the crusher? What's that? No, that's, uh, it's got electricity going to it. So apparently, according to the sign, this is an actual mining claim, federal government, it says up there. So no trespassing for minerals. So we're allowed to snoop, but we're not allowed to do any mining. So are you saying that this building was the assay office? I don't know, but there was an assay office here. And there's a stone building up there, which we'll go to in a minute, which I do believe could possibly have been um, dynamite storage. However, it is very close to town, but it is the way it's made, it looks like it is. Yeah, definitely a house, a little miner's cabin. Oh, got the cooker. Still in place. And uh, looks like we're gonna have to climb through the door. Oh, mine does a. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay. You had electricity in here. It's the insulators along the ceiling there. Stove. Propane. Is that propane? Or is that water? That'd be your hot water heater. That's a hot water heater. Yeah. They'd get their water from the stream. Right, you can, the uh, stream is just right there. Butler sink, love butler sinks. Okay, so that looks like that would have been along this wall. So you can look out while you're doing your dishes. Some shelves were here. It's actually really cute. It is, and it's nice open little spot. And it's, so. it's large enough to be like kitchen diner, which it probably yeah, was. I'm and sure. then I wonder how many people live there then, because if this actually could have been like a, like a small bunkhouse, you could have had, like, this is a communal kitchen sitting area and have three or four beds in here because right, you've got a also, fireplace. Yeah, another stove would have been there. So you could have had maybe even just two. I mean, a bunk each side or four. Interesting. It's cute. I like it. And here, right next to the cabin is just, looks like a work shed. So you got some fire hose in here, still rolled up, some vent pipe, a bunch of cardboard. Uh, some newer PVC up here. Neat, all right, on to the next. This is that stone cabin I was talking about. The reason why I thought maybe it could possibly be dynamite storage is because it's rock built all the other cabins are wood. Plus it's right by the rock here. There's shelves in it. Unless it was a cold storage, I guess it could be cold storage. Yeah, perhaps right next to the, the rock because I don't believe that they would have explosives this close. Yeah, I can't open the door anymore. Yeah, just very small. Then we concur. Yes? I believe so. Oh, because also, okay, you got something interesting here. Pipe. Water pipe coming out. 
So I wonder if this was then like an ice house, like you said, and then they kept their things in there. And then when it would melt. The water would just go through. Yes, because the, the pipe out. is there. Possibly. He's smart, isn't he? Sometimes. And I wasn't even looking at your notes. Again, looking at the chinking. Yep. I reckon this is just another, like a house cabin. Residential. Oh, God, these damn horse flies. Yep, very, uh, oh, it's got uh, linoleum on the flooring there. <laughs> the lock's upside down. <laughs> All tight fit. That was a band, wasn't it? Tight fit. Brick Brick structure, Lee. yeah. So maybe this would just be what, a single person's cabin or maybe a couple? Probably. It's, yeah, nice and uh, small. Still got the uh, cardboard for insulation up in there. It always makes me wonder who lived in these sorts of places. What conversations did they have? What did they cook on the stove? Door's wonky. It is. Oops. I think this could be a bunkhouse. Oh, look how deep the windows are. Oh, yeah. The windowsill. Okay, so we got more insulators, electricities. This, so this is a weird layout. I know, because you've got uh, access that way. Access that way with a couple shelves. I don't know what that is there. This is... Loads of doors. Door here, door, door there. Here. Another door. Another... No, that's a window. Another door this so side. So three doors. Another fireplace. Little stove. And then another little deal here. I wonder if this was maybe the, the cookhouse then? Because bunkhouse, it doesn't make sense to have this in the middle of, that I would take up space for bunks. I don't know. What, so you think cooking one side, eating the other? Possibly, because the shelving, maybe there was extra storage. Uh, I mean, makes sense. And then stuff up on top. And then top. you've got the, during the summer, because you've got the doors that you can keep open to let the air come through. Right. I'm thinking of the two stoves. It is just a... Like I say, I would think for bunkhouse, it's more open for yeah. the bunk spaces. Interesting. Very interesting. And the lino on the floor, that thick 1920s lino. And then down here, we've got so what do you think this is? Another seat again. Rock, brick, rock built. Yeah, stone foundation. Or not, with, yeah, stone with walls. The door. So, I don't know, maybe another. More cold storage? Yeah, maybe. I mean, this would also make sense if that was like the cookhouse, the, yeah. then. Uh, and then someone's left this. I don't know how old this is. Something pure. Tro tropical something pure. Tropicana? I don't know, look. Hmm. I can't quite make it out. And then on the bottom, it's a couple of numbers. 68 and a 37, so I don't know whether there's a batch or whether or not, I wouldn't have thought that would be a date. I would have thought that would have been too, you know. Right. Too new-ish. Yep, all right, so we got what, one more? Couple more. 
There's a few more structures over here. All right, well, this one, don't see any point in going inside of it. This one's a bit dilapidated. Right. It's two stories. It was at one point. Huh. And of course, what would a mining town be without its mine? And this one's got some gates across the front here and I can see it is padlocked. And it's flooded. Water's clear. And it is definitely flooded. Flooded big time. Yeah, so it goes in and it makes a bit of a right turn. And that water, that's... That's a, that's well, a couple of foot deep. Yeah. Doesn't look it. It's, that's one of those things where it's funny. The water gives that mirage, but you kind of look close right here. And you can see uh, it would go up to my shins over the top of my boots. So... Not for us. Most not definitely today. not. No. So I think we finally have found the assay office. Oh yes. Yep, I can see right there. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. That and lot of pack nets. Pack rats city. So you, and then Yep. Look all the shelvings, the glass broke. Looks like somebody's done a fire in here. This is all, yes, yeah, somebody's caught it. Yeah, this is all it. charred. Well, at least the whole thing didn't go up and... Well, that would also cause a forest fire. Oh, big time. I mean, this is prime area for that. Jeez. I think we're right up in the middle of nowhere, Montana mountains. Grizzly bear country. Now they must have, could have only worked these mines in the summer months. They couldn't be up here in the winter because the snow would be what, 10, 12 foot of snow? Well, we have seen in places like Idaho, I mean, they were just tough people. They did it, they had to, you know. That but was how would they have got their supplies? Well, if they're already here, you know, they just shovel the pathway to the mine and then make sure. I'm thinking more of food. Okay, they've got water and they can always melt snow. Yeah. Well, I guess they can well, always also, kill um, wildlife. I'm bleeding. Yeah, when you think about it, you got to adapt to your area, so. I'm bleeding. They would know that there'd be heavy snow, so I'm sure they stocked up on items for the winter time. Beans. You know, you, you plan for what's coming. Okay, I need to disinfect my knee. All right. You know what I'm going to say. Come on, say it with me. No trip would be complete without a trip to the loo. A nice little two-seater. Watch out for the rocks here. Look at that, a Jack and Jill. Nice open air. Doesn't stay stagnant too long, but the, uh, the flies are still crazy. Oh, there's tons of horse flies everywhere. Yeah. And then where's Dave off to? Dave has a lawn to himself. He just disappears. <laughs> Deep into the undergrowth. Dave finds stuff and says, there's stuff over here, there's stuff over here, there's stuff over here. It's like, nice. <laughs> And we got a couple things over that direction. House looks promising, I was going to say, but the roof's gone. It's all uh, dilapidated. Most certainly. 
Yeah, this would have been a big, maybe the mine manager's house. It's a big house. And it's also all painted different colors. Superintendent. Yeah. I think this, cause that's got a pipe for water. So I'm not sure whether or not this would be a kitchen area. Right. Stove here. Can't really go in there. There's an old bed frame, the remains of, or some springs of something through there. And that, yeah, there's, still see the nice, the cabin, the log, log cabin section right over there, that wall. Still in really good shape. Whoa. That's a cute little cabin. Oh yeah. It's got, what do you call this? Is it like uh, tar paper? Like tar paper, yeah, roofing material. That's nice cute. couch, bed, bed frame. Boot. What's this? Oh. Uh, Shall we open it? Nah, get it. Wow. Well, that's a bit, bit bizarre because you've got steps going down. It is straight. I wonder if this has been filled up with pack rats because. And there's a bit. Maybe that is about level with the ground. That's different. Oh. Nice. Again, it's like thinking about the miner that built this. Had a nice view of the road coming in. Imagine all, some of these trees weren't here. Maybe look out over the river. Nice spot to come back to after a hard day's work. Jump in the stream for a wash. Yeah. Then off to the saloon. There isn't a saloon here. Bummer. Off to bed. Okay. Now we're off to Tonto. There are several ways you can help support this channel further please check the pinned comment below. Thank you so much for watching. See you on our next adventure.